in place, and the last question is, is based on your, your uh, what is this conclusion which is that we need to, we must, we must make use of AI um, to do better. What needs to be done better? Thank you very much. Last question in this round, before I respond, First and foremost, I'd like to thank Professor Fabi Tambara. Thank you very much for coming, for educating us, sharing with us. Number two, I'd like to thank the students, the young lions. I understand you are under pressure of exams, but you heeded the call. You've come here, and I'm very proud of you, and I love you. Thank you so much. My question, uh, my, my question is, given what Professor Mutambara said, there's something I've missed, and I, I haven't seen him speak about it. I don't know if he's mentioned it in the book. If I look at all world civilizations, whether they are African, Oriental, whatever, there's always an elite. And the elite, whether it's gunpowder, it's industrialization, it's machine gun, they always make sure the high end of that technology, it's elitist, it's maintained by the elite, and they form laws around that. It's the same thing, history repeating itself. AI, right at its top, the crux of it, there's intellectual property rights. Hence, Iran now cannot, it's not even allowed to de de develop nuclear weapons just like America has, just like all the Anglo-Saxon countries has. So has he touched on the military applications of artificial intelligence? Has he touched on the racist part of identity politics in terms of artificial intelligence? Thank you very much. I'm proud of you students. I'm proud of you.